you know, this video is being made in June of 2021, but its message is timeless. Those of us who have been aware and knowing have recognized that we were going to be in an unprecedented, that's the word, time <clears throat> in human history in which there would be a global occurrence. We would know that there was change, massive change coming when this global occurrence occurred. That was the signal. That would be the signal that things were about to change. Now, I didn't know, no one knew for sure, how this change would happen. On a physical level, would it happen? Well, somewhat it did. Biology occurred, that's a narrative. But there's something else, something even more important. And it's that um, human beings are in a spiritual world as well. And it's really a war. It's a war for our consciousness. It's a, it's a grab for our attention. It's a mastery over self-will aligned with divine truth versus the falsities and the will-bending efforts of others, the manipulations of others. And this occurs through energy centers. And so really, you get really clear with yourself. There's no looking out there for answers. The answers are within all those things that they've always said, the sages. The answers are truly within. It's all true. The answers are truly within. And so you go into the core of your being in meditation. There are three major centers that you want to align with, and that's your head, your heart, and your belly. There's intelligence, massive intelligence and knowing in the heart. The heart chakra will actually know things well before you actually get evidence as to the truth of anything. The heart chakra will know. If anybody has been attuned to that, they will get a gripping in the heart. They will get sensations in the heart. And uh, I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But for me, it means I'm about to discover something that's gonna be a little bit of a shock to my system. So really, take a look at your life and think about it as ancient. <clears throat> think eternity, think infinity. If you recognize through personal experience and wisdom, as I have, that we have always been, we will always be, we are from source, we are eternal, we are infinite. I know I am from truth, love, and joy. I know I am of God, of God's spark, although I am not God. So in meditation, you can line up the pineal gland, recognizing the crown is receiving the golden light uh, and treasures of the divine wisdom knowledge of the universe through the core of the sun into the core of our, not just solar system, but what our sun goes around, the galactic core. You align your heart up, you hold your heart open, you allow that pranic tube to enter into fluidity with the energy from the earth. So it's like a giving and receiving. It's like a two-way street. It's like a DNA helix, which is infinitely more fascinating and intricate than common science would have you believe. If you just look at the sacred geometry of it. And so, Know that you are much more ancient than you think. Think eternity. Think eternity. And so you begin to act from your own inner guidance. To get and tap into source reality, you go within the heart. You go within the heart of the planet. You connect your heart to the heart of the planet. Your mother, the living, conscious, sophianic force of the divine wisdom goddess. Now we live on a beautiful, abundant planet that's so amazingly rich. And the distractions of outer space are distractions. It's all evidence right there in 
Space Odyssey 2001, at the very, very end, we recognize that within the embryo, the eye of the child, the beautiful spiral shape, the golden ratio, the divine knowledge that there is nothing out there. It is all in here, all within. So tend to your own garden, be it a real garden or the garden of your life that you create, the beauty in your kitchen, the beauty anywhere that you place your focus and attention. It's rich with life force, the actual natural world. We need to tend to our planet and put our energy into the planet as a human species because it is us and our attention and our attentiveness and our imaginations and our hearts and our love for life that will create the heaven on earth we are capable of ushering in. Acting collectively, yes, but individually it begins with you. It begins with you. It begins with you, 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 you. Now, when you dream and dreams are disturbing, recognize whether or not you're using your will. Say no to the rat astral realm. It's an astral realm. So we're in 3D when we're awake, but you can move from the th 3D and from the 4D into what's considered the 5D. How? By exercising the heart, mind, pineal gland, and willpower center. Your will, exercising your will. So say, for instance, you're dreaming and something c comes into the dream and it wants you to act a certain way or it's invading your space. When you find yourself actually exercising your will, saying no, that is what I'm talking about. It comes about by exercising your will center in your every waking life. Your will center, your gut knowing, your belly brain. The one that knows instinctively. It's like truth, consciousness and love is the holy trinity, the major trifecta of winning the game of life. Truth, love and consciousness. What are you consciously aware of in every waking moment? What are you consciously aware of when you're outside? Are you aware of the birds? To me, consciousness is going to be represented by the third eye. Love, of course, is the heart center, through which all else is possible. And then we have truth, which is the belly brain, gut knowing, gut instinct. And truth can only come through a third chakra that is not messed up, which is messed up through mental mind disturbances. Mental mind disturbances and confusion comes from cognitive dissonance. It comes from misinformation. It comes from outside external information that's contrary to what we know to be true. And if you allow those mental mind disturbances to disturb you, the end result is that you will lose your will center, your will power, your ability to act willfully. Divine will and will are one. Divine will comes through having that head, that heart, and that belly connected, that will center, which is above the navel. It's above the navel. Mm-hmm. The will center is above the nasal. <laughs> well, the nasal, okay, that's a, that was a fun little slip, little truth slip there. Above the navel, you will find the will center. That's how you can be manipulated by black magicians. They can pull you there. You can feel it. It's very sensation of being pulled there. And the nasal, the ethnoid bone, that sensation that you get in the ethnoid boy bone that knows, that knows the truth. Now, I live in suburbia. There's traffic noise. 
but I can place my attention on nature, on the sound of the birds, on the honeybees that gather pollen. And so keep all of this in mind to go to source reality. <clears throat> keep it in heart to feel the love from the earth and send love back to the earth. Now we have wonderful pollinators here in this garden. And a little opportunist spider thought he was gonna get that wasp. The wasps, he got out. It eats aphids, we love that wasp. But I think he may have gotten a spider. What did he get? <laughs> so you see, we have the ability to take and turn around the troubles on this planet the troubles that would have us become the prey. We have the ability to become the predator. We are fierce, we are wild, we are animals, and we are of Gaia Sophia. We are her golden children. It is us, it is us that knows the truth of our beings. It is us that are here to rebuild the potentiality of heaven on earth through consciousness, through love, through truth, through our crowns and pineal glands and where we put our attention and our imagination with the love we have for life. Combined with our gut knowing, our belly, our attachment, our cord to the goddess. So align yourself, align yourself with the truth and the beauty of who you really are and see what you can build in your garden of life.